study buddies long time no see welcome back to scarlet studies with me scarlet aka your youtube big sister a lot has changed since i saw you last one of those things is my hair if you haven't already seen on TikTok or Instagram, links in the description below, I kinda dyed my hair pink. So I thought for this episode of Scarlet Studies, maybe we could learn all about the science of hair dye. I'll show you how I went from this to this. I am loving my pink hair so far. It is so soft and so much fun. The reason that I dyed it was because I tried one of those Instagram filters that shows you every hair color you could ever possibly have. And I really liked the pink and I thought, well, Cosmic's hair is pink. I don't wanna copy her, but this is more like Cosmic's first pink wig. I mean, they're not wigs, they're definitely real. Her first pink hair. I've always liked pastel pink and this just felt right, and why not? It's so boring being in your house all the time. May as well do something fun and different. But it took a really long time to get it pink. I was actually at the hair salon for a total of nine hours, getting it from light brown to this like rose gold pastel. And that was with very minimal hair damage. My hairstylist Jocelyn did a really, really good job. So the first step to learning the science of how hair dye works is to learn the anatomy of your hair. Your hair is basically just protein, just like your fingernails. And each strand of hair has two different regions, the root and the shaft. And hair shafts are entirely dead cells. The only living cells of your hair are right up here in the root under the skin. The inside of your hair shaft is called the cortex. And this is where your natural color is. Your specific color of hair is determined by melanin. Melanin is what gives our hair, skin, even our eyes their specific colors. How much and what kind of melanin we each have determines the specific color shade that we end up with. Eumelanin causes brown to black hair shades and pheomelanin causes red and blonde. You can even have a combination of these to create your natural hair color. Now outside of that inner cortex is an outer hair cuticle. And the cells of your hair cuticle are arranged kind of like shingles on a roof or like dragon scales. They overlap and keep the cortex of your hair protected. And these scaly cells are actually almost see-through, which is how you can see the melanin beneath them. This means each strand of your hair is porous, kind of like a sponge, and just like your skin. Let me know in the comments if you've ever played with hair chalk or sprays that color your hair temporarily. Now these just coat the cuticle and the outside of the hair shaft. If you want your hair a new color permanently, you have to get under that protective cuticle layer and into that inner cortex. So to do that, a professional stylist will apply a chemical called ammonia to your hair and this will open up the hair cuticle. And once it's open, the melanin pigments you already naturally have have to be at least a little bit altered, depending on what color you're trying to get to. And this is done with another chemical called peroxide. Peroxide is used to either minimize or completely get rid of your natural melanin pigments. It's a chemical reaction which cannot be reversed. Now, if you're trying to go from say, red hair to brown hair, your stylist won't have to put a lot of peroxide in your hair, just a little bit to tone down the red. But in my case, we had to use a lot of peroxide to get rid of all the brown underneath. I looked like Draco Malfoy. I'm not kidding, I, I truly did. Next, your stylist will tone your newly peroxide bleached hair. And this will pull it from one side of the color wheel to the other, depending again on what color you're going for. 
Even when most of the melanin is taken out of your hair, it still has some undertones. They'll either be warm, cool, or neutral. Even your skin has undertones. You've probably heard people talk about undertones when it comes to makeup. My undertones are very, very warm in both my skin and my hair. So to make sure my hair came out a nice rosy pink instead of a peachy orange, my hairstylist toned my hair with a bluish toner. And as you'll see, blue and orange are opposites on the color wheel. Isn't that neat? Hair dye technology has gotten really, really amazing. My hairstylist applied one product to my hair that included the ammonia, the peroxide, and the toner all in one. It was like this blue, creamy, fluffy stuff. And after she finished coating a section of hair, she would wrap it in aluminum foil. This process took a long time. But doing it this way makes sure that everything comes out really nice and even. Plus, the foil traps heat. Heat opens porous things, which helps all that ammonia and peroxide do its job even better and faster. Now that the cortex of my brown hair was completely lightened and toned, it was time to dye it pink. So my stylist mixed up this rosy gold color and just applied it to my whole head. We didn't need to do the foils this time because the cuticle of my hair was still open. So we just slathered it all over my hair and waited about 45 minutes to let it soak up the pink, just like a sponge. Then we washed and rinsed in very cool water. Why do you think that is? If heat opens porous things, can you guess what cold does? That's right, it closes it. Cold water closes the cuticle of your hair. That's why you should always try to end your showers with cool water if you can. This helps protect and smooth even your natural colored hair. And it's good for your skin. Voila, la rouge. But I have to take very, very, very good care of my new pink hair. My stylist told me I need to wash it as little as possible, once a week if I can, to keep the cuticle closed and the cortex of new pink hair protected. Otherwise it'll all kind of wash down the drain. She also told me to apply a deep conditioning mask, a strengthening treatment, and a color boosting cleanser at least once a week. <sighs> Plus, as my new hair starts to grow, which you can already see happening a little bit, I'm gonna have to get my roots lightened, toned, and dyed pink to match the rest of it. That's gonna have to happen like every six weeks. It's times like these that I wish I really was a superhero. All I'd have to do is just put on my ring and gather up with my friends, say the magic words, and be transformed. It would be a lot less expensive. Thank you so much for tuning back into Scarlet Studies. I know that it's been a while. I would really love it if you join the Study Buddy Club by subscribing to my channel and turning on your bell notifications. I would also really love it if you would drop our super secret Study Buddy Shh. emoji in the comments below and tell me what other sorts of episodes you think I should do. And I'll see you next time, Study Buddies. Bye.